Hey out there, it's Joshua Java here again with another Unreal Development Kit tutorial. And uh, today is going to be a quick one. We're going to talk about how to import a complex mesh into the Unreal Development Kit using 3D Studio Max. And uh, this mesh is going to have multi sub object uh, material setup as well as a custom collision created uh, directly in 3D Studio. Uh, what we're going to talk about is uh, how to set up the uh, model in 3D Studio. Uh, including how to set up the collision data and uh, naming the model and that uh, collision data. Uh, we're going to talk about how to export the model and we're going to talk about how to import it into the editor and set up the materials and uh, make sure that it imported the uh, collision data properly. So I uh, hope you enjoy the tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so I've opened up 3D Studio and I've opened up a model called Fireball Tower dot max and uh, uh, notice that this is one object, it is an editable poly, and I'm in element mode when I expand um, the options here. And I'm going to go on the right hand panel and I'm going to expand the polygon material IDs. And I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and look at our material setup. Um, you notice here that I've got a uh, multi sub object material being applied to this entire um, editable poly. But I have uh, four uh, material IDs set up. So basically, what this is is uh, I have a layout of a model here, and uh, the model in different parts has actually different materials applied to it. So this is going to translate um, in Unreal uh, one to one. Okay, so uh, make this a little bit larger here. What I'm going to go ahead and do is um, I'm going to go ahead and select by ID so you can see which material is being applied to which part of the model. So if I select ID one, we get this part in the middle here, and this part has a different material than all the other parts of the mesh. Uh, same thing with um, ID2, has a completely different material. ID3 has a completely different material. And ID4, this part in the middle right here, has another completely different material applied to it. Okay, so let's say that you want to add another ID uh, with another material. Um, in this case, it would be actually a bad idea. You don't want any more than, uh, th you know, usually three or four IDs per mesh as it adds an, basically an extra draw call. Um, if you're not sure what a draw call is, watch my very very first um, tutorial on um, graphics overview and it'll explain it a little bit more but basically it has to render for every frame this object as many IDs as it has so if I do for example uh, four IDs it'll have to do four draw calls four passes for every frame let's set this to five real quick and uh, add basically one extra slot for material and I'll call this uh, fifth. I'll be deleting this one later, but uh, let's apply a quick material to it. So add a bitmap, and it, this doesn't matter what material I apply to it. This will stand out. It's a normal map. Um, this is just for uh, example sake. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, all the surfaces that I want this material to be applied to. And uh, let's say that I want this kind of strip in the middle to have this fifth material. All I have to do is set ID to 5 and press enter and now um, this material if I have this selected it should show that material being rendered on it alright so uh, adding and deleting uh, basically ma uh, material IDs is pretty much as simple as that I'm gonna have this selected now and I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one um, and I'm going to reselect these and set the ID back to I believe it was 2 and uh, there you go. Now I'm back to what I originally had. Okay, so that's really it as far as um, material setup for a multi sub object material. Um, let's go ahead and um, take a look at how to create a custom collision in 3D Studio. So I've gone ahead and uh, let me unhide everything here. Uh, let's go to perspective mode. Okay, so I've created a, a model here. Uh, I unhide all. Uh, I've created this model. And it's just a very simple model uh, using uh, uh, box modeling. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to find the name of the, the model that I, uh, the original model, my fireball tower. And I'm going to copy this name. And for the collision model, this is the collision model here, I'm going to give her a name of UCX underscore and then the name of my model. And uh, when I export it, Unreal will know that uh, it needs to export this as it, uh, its collision data. So, so yeah, now we've got a custom static mesh that has 
uh, custom collision data created in 3D Studio, as well as it's using a multi sub object, multiple ID uh, material setup. So, uh, from this, what I can do is I can go File, uh, Export, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and export as Fireball Tower underscore static mesh. I'll go ahead and save it and uh, make sure that these options are selected. So, I have mesh definitions, materials, normals, mapping coordinates, shape, and geometry, and hit OK. And I'll go ahead and tab into the UDK and into my package where I will import my model now. So fireball tower underscore SM. Uh, I'll leave everything in default. And uh, there we go. Here's our model imported. Notice that uh, the model has no, it has the default uh, material applied to it. And uh, if we go under the show collisions, we notice that our collision data is the same collision data that we created in 3 Studio Max, which is exactly what we wanted. Okay, so now we, all we pretty much have left to do is uh, assign the four materials that we uh, need onto this uh, mesh. So if we expand the LED info, we'll notice that we have four elements, uh, basically zero through three, and these are the slots that we're going to assign our uh, materials to. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Uh, minimize this, and in our content browser, uh, find the four materials that we need. So first material, I believe, is this one, and that's in ID one, and that's applied only to that. And go to our second material, and uh, that goes there. Our third material, right here, and that goes right there, and fourth material applied. So there you go. Um, now our mesh is uh, set up using all four material IDs and it worked perfectly. Now, the cool thing about uh, setting up um, multiple IDs is that you can control each material separately. So for example, if you have, like in this case, uh, multiple glowing elements uh, that you want to maybe animate a little bit differently, if you notice that this guy right here on the bottom is kind of pulsing a little bit while this one just has a constant glow, um, a different material ID will allow you to do that, and that's one advantage of using a different ID uh, is that you can animate them because they're different materials all together. So, uh, yeah, remember to keep your IDs uh, under three or four depending on the complexity of your model. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to email me as usual. Uh, again, this was a uh, uh, tutorial that was requested. Um, and uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter, JavaHawk. Uh, thank you very much.